Hi Dixons, I'm Laura Jay, Assistant Vice Principal at Dixon Trinity Chapel Town. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't done so already, do subscribe to our channel, use the like function and comment below to tell us which episodes have been the most useful or what you would like to see on the channel next. From reception through to year 11, Oracy underpins and permeates our curriculum. Oracy is the skill of communicating effectively through speech. Good levels of oracy enable students to become more confident, articulate and fluent young people that are prepared for further educational study, the world of work and full participation in society. At Dixon's Trinity Chapel Town, we explicitly teach talk through the use of key vocabulary and talk tasks within our lesson and through some of our key routines such as my turn, your turn, insisting on full sentence answers and using talk to your partner. Over a few episodes, we will share these routines that support oracy to become a feature of any classroom. So for our first episode, we will be looking at talk to your partner, breaking down the routine into simple stages. Across the primary phase, students use talk to your partner in lessons to support purposeful on task discussions. The talk to your partner routine follows a set structure. The first part is pose the question. Staff pose a question, they ensure it's clear and concise. In the young years, this question may be repeated. The second part is the nonverbal signal. Staff will give the nonverbal hand gesture to signal that the discussion should begin. The purpose of using the hand gesture is that it limits unnecessary teacher talk and allows for students to retain the question. The hand gesture is taught and practiced at the beginning of the year so it becomes embedded as a classroom habit. The third part is when the discussion begins. Upon showing this gesture, students know to turn their heads and begin their on-task discussion about the question. In base camp, which for us means EYFS in year one, students may turn their whole bodies, whereas in year two and beyond, our students will just turn their heads to begin the discussion. During student induction and reinduction, it's important for staff to model the expectation of eye contact, listening, attending, and taking turns to speak. The following clip demonstrates talk to your partner in action. Okay, for our do now, I have a question for you. How can you stay healthy? How can you stay healthy? The fourth part is hunting. So whilst the discussion is taking place, staff will hunt around the room or the bug rug and listen for on-task discussions. Staff may hear misconceptions to address or examples of excellence. Staff may choose to address these individually with students or choose to share these globally to the whole class. The fifth part is spotlighting. The teacher will then cold call a specific student and share their feedback to the whole class. This is an ideal opportunity to address a misconception of one student that could actually be a misconception of many. Staff may decide to showcase an example of excellence to ensure all students have a clear understanding of what excellence is. Or staff may decide to take a good answer and then use further questioning or thinking out loud strategies to take their answer from good to great. Finally, sometimes staff may need to use right is right strategies depending on the feedback they receive from their students. Staff will use different techniques to guide students to the right answer. Holding high expectations of all students is integral to the culture of any classroom. We do not lower the bar by accepting an answer as correct if it's not. Also, it may be necessary to recast an answer from a student by rewording and modelling their answer as a correct full sentence. Learning how to talk to your partner whilst maintaining eye contact, listening, taking turns, how to make sure your argument is clear and heard, should be explicitly taught and modelled during student induction and reinduction. Talk to your partner needs to be practised multiple times in order for it to become an effective classroom habit. Scaffolding and practice of talk to your partner is incredibly important, as is illustrated in the next clip. Who? We are going to do a turn and talk to our partner. Partner ones, you are going to talk first. Partner ones, 
partner ones, partner ones, your partner as well. You are going to talk first, you're going to say your question first, Eli. Partner twos, you are going to listen. You're going to track the person speaking and listen. And then I'm going to ask some partner twos to tell me what partner one has said. So partner one, get ready with your question, your who question. Across both the primary and secondary phase, we have daily opportunities for oracy to be developed and practised. Students learn a lot through talk and can really deepen their understanding through dialogue with both teachers and peers. In our next episode, focusing on oracy, we will be explaining how two more routines, my turn, your turn, and insisting on four sentence answers, contribute to great modelling of oracy within the classroom. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share. I look forward to seeing you soon.